Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into one of the most important topic in modern navigation that is ECDIS or electronic chart display and information system. Now ECDIS is a huge subject. It's not just about replacing paper chart. It's about transforming the way ships navigate, plan passages and maintain safety at sea. Because of the depth and importance of this system, we will be breaking it down into three dedicated videos. In the first video, we will look at the basics of ECDIS. In the second video, we will dive deeper into the safety setting of ECDIS. And in the final part, we will focus on passage planning and important terms of ECDIS. So if you are studying for your navigation exam, working on board or simply curious, you are in right place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single video. Today, we will cover what is ECDIS advantages and disadvantages of ECDIS, difference between raster chart and vector chart, alarms in ECDIS and performance standard of ECDIS. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's start with the basic, what exactly is ECDIS? ECDIS stands for Electronic Chart Display and Information System. It's an interactive digital navigation tool approved by the IMO offering fully paperless navigation by integrating electronic chart, position fixing and shipboard sensor. In other words, ECDIS let us monitor a ship's journey in real time, streamline passage planning and respond quickly to the navigational hazards. Now, let's see what are the advantages of the ECDIS. With ECDIS, we can continuously monitor the voyages, make a passage planning easier, use anti-grounding alarms, apply quick and efficient chart correction. We can customize a chart according to the requirement. We can calculate ETA at a glance, assess necessary navigational information, work in cost-efficient and eco-friendly way. We can improve search and rescue capability and integrate radar, AIS, eco sounder, log, gyro and even autopilot. Just like any piece of kit on a ship, ECDIS isn't perfect. It has its own set of drawbacks. Let's go through the disadvantages of ECDIS. Are over-reliance on the system, errors due to the wrong setting input, alarm deafness if too many alarms are ignored, risk of computer virus, power failure or equipment breakdown, incorrect data if an interface fails, hardware and software failure, position of target may not always be referenced correctly to WGS84, information clutter on the screen. ECDIS can display two main types of chart, a raster chart and vector chart. Let's see the difference between them. A raster chart looks exactly like a paper chart, but when you zoom it too far, it gets granny and pixelated. A vector chart is different. It stays perfectly clear no matter how much you zoom. A raster chart is just a flat image. All the information is on a single layer. A vector chart is built with a different layer of information, which means you can switch them on or off to see only when you need, like buoys or depth contour. Because a raster chart is a one big image, if you need to update it, you have to replace the whole file. With a vector chart, you only have to update the specific pieces of a data that change. A raster chart has a limited functionality because it's not a smart. A vector chart, on the other hand, can be programmed to give you alarm and alerts like when you are entering a shallow area. In summary, raster chart are simple digital copy of a paper chart preferred for familiarity. While vector charts are advanced, interactive chart providing more features for modern navigation. ECDIS provides various alarms to ensure safe navigation. The important alarm includes safety contour crossing alarm, safety depth alarm, cross track distance alarm, look ahead anti-grounding alarm, route deviation and waypoint approaching alarm, position system failure alarm, chart update alarm, collision risk alarm that is CPA and TCPA. ECDIS gives some other alarms also. They are underskill alarm, approach to critical point alarm, different geodetic datum alarm, malfunction of ECDIS alarm, information overskill alarm, large scale ENC available alarm, navigational information alarm, position test failure alarm, anti-grounding alarm. Now let's see the difference between the alarm and indication. 
alarm it requires immediate action and it is audible plus visual indication it just an information not immediate action required example no chart available for the scale selected now our next topic is performance standard of ecdis according to imo requirement ecdis must meet certain performance standard first is chart requirement it must use official encs issued by hydrographic office it should update automatically with notices to mariner it must be clear and unambiguous it should switch to rnc only if enc is not available with proper warning second one is backup arrangements it must have either a second egg disk or updated paper chart covering the voyage third one is display requirement it must show ship's position route safety contour danger and hazards it must allow the navigator to set safety settings it should support day dusk and night display mode it must avoid clutter and always show important safety info fourth one alarm and indication it must provide alarm for safety contour breaches danger ahead and sensor failure it must provide indication for non critical issues fifth one is route planning and monitoring it must allow safe route planning it must continuously monitor the vessel's progress it must alert for deviation and dangers it must provide look ahead and anti grounding checks sixth one is sensor integration it must be connected to gps gnss gyro speed lock and optionally radar ai overlay seventh one is system integrity it must work on wgs 84 datum it must safeguard against accidental data detection it must allow official update it must give alarms for system failure in short ecdis must provide the same level of safety as per chart continuously display the ship's position relevant to dangers give alarms when risks are detected and always have a redundancy that brings us to the end of this first video on ecdis we have covered the basics what ecdis is its advantages and disadvantages raster versus vector charts alarms and performance standard in the next video we will move deeper into the safety settings of ecdis including safety depth safety contour shallow and deep contour and how to apply them correctly during voyage planning and monitoring so stay tuned for the part 2 of this series thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more professional maritime learning content